Mr. Unluck, um, where is Robert? Where are we? We're at a place called Campsley on the lower stretches of the river. This is the lower stretches. We're at all, it's almost at the sea here. Only another four miles is in the sea. And it's already come 20, 22 miles. Yes, I own the golf course, but I don't get involved in the management of it. There's a manager here, David. So you just, and then, so you just get all the costs and all? Well, that's oversimplifying. <laughs> that's oversimplifying. <laughs> How do you get the position that you are now owning it? Uh, it has been in the family for generations. But as I say, until about 11 or 12 years ago, it was a farm. And it's now my farm, which is now a golf course. It was my father's, it was his father's before him, and so on. It's been in the family for about eight generations. Why did you change it on there, the golf course of the night? Well, farming at that time was not all that good. And I saw what I thought was a very good opportunity. And as it's transpired, I was correct. It has turned out very well because we have a good population around us and this golf course is quite cheap so anyone can afford employ anybody? Yes, there are about six or seven between full time and part. Not just employ people that like, have the GCSEs and all the... You don't really need GCSEs for cutting a lawn. Yeah. It's more common sense but the, the head greenkeeper here has been to college and to agricultural college and has all the certificates required. But a lot of this green keeping is really just common sense. It's like cutting your lawn. Are there any conflicts between fisheries and golf? Not many. We try to have what we call peaceful coexistence between the fishermen and the golfers. One golfer was hitting the back of the head with a ball and he wasn't happy about it. But that's only one in 12 years. And the fishermen work with us and we work with them. So they enjoy the fishing and we enjoy the golf and try to have no conflict, as we don't have, except rarely, rarely. Well, we can get out of the river and do, but we have ponds in the, throughout the golf course, which are right in the middle of it. And the closest, it's, we take the water from the nearest point that we need it, from the nearest supply of it, and there's several ponds to it. For example, over there are several ponds, and we just take it out of the pond there and put it on the greens. But it's, rarely we need that in this country. We've only had the irrigation system going once this year. Because it's... Uh, how, how do I put this? It's not a lynx course, this. A lynx course is built in sand, which tends to be very dry, but this is what's known as a parkland course, which is normal soil, which retains moisture. So is the business getting here? Business is going very well. Well, we can get out of the river and do, but we have ponds.